You may remember when a popular fitness blogger led a campaign against azodecarbonamide, the bread leavening agent used by Subway and many other fast food outlets. While it's not as traditional and familiar to people as baker's yeast, it is a very cheap, very effective and harmless substitute that gives rise to bread with a deliciously soft, chewy texture. The fitness blogger's main concern was that the synthetic bread leavening agent, azodecarbonamide, was also used in the production of yoga mats. And she played on this fear and gave a perfectly safe ingredient a bad name. The fitness blogger failed to mention that the amount of azodecarbonamide used in Subway's flour was well below the safety limits set by the FDA. She also failed to mention that almost zero azodecarbonamide is left in the finished bread products because azodecarbonamide breaks down in the oven. There was never any danger from the azodecarbonamide in Subway's freshly baked bread. The fitness blogger was just attacking the chain to get more followers and earn money from the alternative health products she promotes. In fact, reaching a dangerous dose of azodecarbonamide at Subway would have required eating around 20 billion kilograms of raw flour. Furthermore, overdosing on azodecarbonamide by eating the finished bread products at Subway would have been actually impossible because azodecarbonamide breaks down in the heat of the oven. There's basically zero left in the cooked bread. Subway and some of the other fast food chains were forced to change their recipes by finding substitutes to azodecarbonamide at a cost of millions of dollars. They gave in to consumer demand, not out of any safety concerns, but because it just made business sense to give customers what they wanted. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos from Sincerely Chemicals.